friends, we're back again. So now what we're going to do is the bath with boiling water, okay? So what you're gonna need here is boiling water, tongs, salt, the dye, the writ dye, and the corn husk. Now you choose either or, okay? So you're either gonna do the bath with, with hot water or the boiling water to get that intense color. So again, you have boiling water, and what you're going to do is shake the writ dye, and you're gonna pour it into the stainless steel pot. And then what you're gonna do is just sprinkle in the salt. And the salt is just like cooking. It binds the dye to the corn husk. And cooking the salt binds the flavor, right? So what you're going to do is just move it around a little bit, swish it around, swish it around. You could use a spoon, but I'm just choosing to use the, the tongs. And the same thing we did with the bath. You're going to put in the corn husk. I gave you the, the um, gloves that you could put on. Now, this is all about choice. What intensity of color you want. As you can see, the bath is already lighter, or maybe you can't see it, but I can see it. The bath is already lighter than the boil. The boil get, really gets that color out. And so as you can see here, I am overlapping the corn husk. I'm not putting it, you know, one exact shape on top of the other. I'm just crisscrossing them. That's a better word. I'm crisscrossing them and I am putting everything inside and make sure you just kind of swish it around so that you don't get any air bubbles. It's a good time to have some music, have your glass of wine or your favorite tea or your favorite hot drink. This is very much a cozy, fun art project to have at home. If I, went, if I wasn't making this video, I definitely would have some, some salsa going on or some Christmas music or something fun to listen to. This is also very, for me, it's very zen. It's just very, it, it relaxes me. It's like painting. I, I love to, I love to create these videos for you guys. We've been doing them all summer uh, since really since the pandemic started. And that's one of the things that this pandemic has brought out for me is just more time at home to, to do these type of things. So I really hope you enjoy making these, um, these corn husk wreaths. And you know, all of you know my phone number, you can call me, you can text me. Um, if you have any questions, I am a text away as always. And so we're gonna we're gonna let this um, we're gonna add all the corn husk. Add more. Make sure you have enough water, and you're gonna let it boil. You could let it boil for an hour to two hours, and uh, I'm sorry, not a boil, a simmer, a simmer. You're gonna let it simmer. I apologize. You're gonna let it simmer. And in one or two hours, always check it. You're consistently checking it. You wanna make sure that uh, there's enough water and you're actually not gonna burn these and that the intensity of color, see it's already grabbing the color and the intensity of color is there and then you stop the boil and you let it cool down. Make sure you don't touch it with, with uh, your fingers when it's hot. Okay, and that's about it. Thank you.